So one of the things that A Course in Miracles does is invite us at times to take it literally. Uh, it is because it's comprised of language, a symbolic text, but the invitation exists at times for us to take its symbolic suggestions literally. One of which is to think about experience as either a call for love or the response to the call for love. Most of us experience the world as having all of these different parts. There's the drive to work, there's the job, there's the people we like, the people that we don't like, there's grocery shopping, there's making dinner, there's all of this. And the Course invites us to take a step into perceiving all of that as a call for love or a response of love to that call for love so that we stop focusing on the thing that we're doing. We stop naming it, we stop judging it, we stop preferring it, and instead we merely observe that it includes either a call for love originating in us, a cry for love, a desperate, you know, begging the cosmos to remind us that we're accepted, that we're allowed, that we belong, or it is and it is the opportunity to respond in love, to bring that love, to extend that love it is a call and response. It's one song, right? It's the part, it's the cry for love, and it's the response for love. And we can locate ourselves on that continuum, in that song, where we choose to be. It matters that when we feel the cry for love that we're honest about that because it is our honesty, the integrity of saying that I need love, I want love, I feel the absence of love that allows our brothers and sisters to say, let me give you that love, let me extend that love. Just as it is imperative for them to be honest and have integrity about their need for love, their cry for love, because it is that cry which allows us to respond in our own imperfect but deeply sincere way of trying to bring love. The whole thing thing. The Course is saying that the whole thing can literally become that very simple dynamic. We are either crying for love or responding with love. We are either responding to other cries for love or we are extending our cry for love and others are responding to us. It is a beautiful dance. It is a beautiful single song and its end is always the same. It is always love. Love is always the answer. Love is always what there is. God is love. That really is in a very deep primal way, a way of thinking, a way of living, a way of being, both a student and a teacher of A Course in Miracles.